Hi YouTube, what's up? For you today, I just got you some team drills you can run. One of them is the 30 second drill. 30 second drill is you just play like a regular game, but every 30 seconds you have your coach or someone like an odd man out, blow whistle, and at the 30 seconds you tell the, whoever the odd man out or the coach just comes up to you and he asks you, where's the other team and where's the rest of your team? They were saying like so and so's out, or I shot that guy out, and he's in the dead box right now, or he's in the back left, or whatever. It's just trying to see how you're reading the field and trying to read your other players. It's a good drill I've ran my team before. Um, it's better for speedball, but you can do it with woods. It's kind of harder because you gotta get something louder and whistle. But it's a very good drill, in my opinion. Set plans. I um, mean, they don't have to be like. Okay, you shoot that guy, then you go here, then then I'll leapfrog all the way across the field. Just have some basic. Uh, it's just like a little three-prong thing. Something that can change if someone gets eliminated. Say you do a little three-prong attack. One guy's middle, two guys on the side. This guy gets eliminated. Well, this guy can always come to this middle. He can still shoot at the guy he has and the guy over here. It's just an example how that could... Uh, you got a set plan, and then you can change it if something goes wrong. Some people that do, but don't really put a lot of thought in it as they're doing it, walk in the field. Walk with your team. Just don't send your captain out there to look around. This applies for speedball and woods ball. I mean, walk with, have your, everyone out there you're going to be playing with walking with you. Or the people you're at least going to be running with all day out there with you. If you see a bunker, it looks like it's going to be a bleeder. A uh, bleeder bunker is something that just gets shot up because they can see it through. Maybe it's a wooden bunker, has got some holes in it, but they can't shoot you because it's like got a bunch of twigs. Don't hit that bunker because you're going to have a lot of spray then you won't be able to see. Something you should do if you play whiz ball or scenario. Uh, have specified positions. Uh, you're going to have captain, of course, and he's going to play with you. Keep him in the back and your back players, maybe they're going to be carrying more paint because it's, they're going to be playing longer games than they would if it's speed ball. Uh, your mid players, still a little more paint than they would be a speed ball. Front players, now they're, depending on how they like to play, they may be going extremely light in this instance just because they're going to be doing lots of running as in speedball you run up the, the center 50 or 45 or not the center 50 but you run up to the 50 or the 45 and you're merely getting the shit but as in, if you're the front man in woods ball I would advise you run up as close as you can get to him dig in instead of trying to trade off immediately have him take as many players while your mid and back players are filling in I mean I know that's you no know, duh type of thing but People would literally just send a man up there for a suicide and do a trade off, even in Woods Ball. I mean, yeah, I can see how, I know how that can open up a side or break their lines, or whatever, but that's not my kind of type of thing. I'd rather send him up, let him take as many as people can he runs out of paint, and then do his little run through. He's more valuable then. And your mid players can only fill in. But just little specified things like that can help you play better instead of everyone's like, well, like me, I'm a bigger guy. I play midfield. And I, I have no problem filling in. I can fill in with the front players, but I immediately can't run up there off the bat. It's just specified things like that can't help. You gotta want your heavy guy there in paint all the time. You want your light guy to run up there and do some damage quick. But if you do right, that light guy will stay in just because your medium, or midfield players filled in right. Uh, another thing for like uh, plans. Um, like I said before, don't set everything where if some fails, the whole plan fails. If you just pick something loose, uh, it's a pretty common thing to say, but uh, do an Alamo. Uh, have a couple set bunkers, so if things start going bad, just yell Alamo. That means everyone knows to draw back a couple bunkers. They come back to their bunkers around the flag or whatever they have to defend or etc. Just something simple like that can't save you the game because it forces everyone to start playing tighter. They know the situation, and you can probably eliminate a couple of them, and then you can make another attack if their the numbers start favoring you. Now this is for like scenario was ball for longer games. If you have room on your vest or pod pack, carry an extra nine outs or an extra pod, because it's almost certain someone's gonna run out of paint or uh, air. I'm not saying you have to wait yourself down to help the team, but if you don't mind carrying it and have room for it, I said go for it. Um, as for the paint 
don't you don't have to be stingy about giving away. You usually you're playing with your friends or something. And most of the time they'll give it back to you. If they don't, they'll pay you or something. It, don't be stingy with it. It's, okay, I know I'm a bigger guy, but when you see me out there playing, you don't see me huffing and puffing. I do run and I do sit ups and push ups to stay in shape and I weight lift. I'm not saying I'm the strongest guy or the most in shape guy, but I do enough where I'm not sucking down air when I'm playing. Uh, just simple things like weightlifting, push-ups, sit-ups, running a little bit on your own will improve your game. Things you can do at home. Um, walk your trigger. I mean, or just play with your guns. I Man, I'll screw off, walk around the house with my guns and stuff, and just goof off. I mean, it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but I mean, if you're just sitting on the couch watching TV, walking in your trigger, even just doing that repetitively will make you a little faster. Um, as for other at home techniques, um, I would advise maybe going in your backyard, doing slides or anything like that if you can, if your backyard's good enough for it or whatever. Uh, me and myself, when we have a tourney coming up where we're not really prepared for it, we got a spot in the woods. It's a woods ball field, but it's small. It's probably about 65 yards long, 50 yards wide. It's just something big enough for us to practice on as a backup field if we can't go down to be the hunted. But if you could set something like that up just for the off practice when you need to get ready for a tourney or at least walk through stuff with your team, it works. I'm not advising you to go out there and buy a $2,000 uh, bunker set up. Or... That's just some simple drills and stuff you can do at home to help improve your game and help improve your team's game. Uh, if you're playing with... Uh, I mean, you can all incorporate some of this into speedball as well. Like I've said in some other videos, I don't like speedball as much as woodball, but uh, you see my 98, I got a lot of money put into it, so I can play speedball with it. I like speedball a lot, and I plan on getting an SLG here soon after I buy a helmet camera, which uh, I should be getting in two weeks tops, and uh, they'll, I'll start using that to record paintball and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but thanks for everyone on my uh, gun review vid uh, telling me to get the SLG and PMR. I kind of had my mind made up on that one. It's just after the, I'm going to buy this camera. Uh, I don't have the money for it as of now, but it will not be too much uh, farther behind. All right, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment or send me a message. Um, and if you like this vid or any others, uh, subscribe. Uh, there's more to come. Stay tuned.